after reading the example, let's look at what are the conditions need to be satisfied before we can apply our ANOVA models. One, we assume we have I independent simple random samples, one from each of I population. Now, be very careful. We have independent assumption here. That means first group of couples has nothing to do with the second group or third group of couples. Similarly, the second couples, second group of couples, second marriage, okay? Look at that five observation in what? Second marriage. They are independent with the five couple from the first marriage and the five couple for third marriage in our data set. And we measure the same response, same response variable for each sample. Now, what is the same response variable in our case? That is the duration, the marriage length before divorce, okay? That is a response variable. Next. The ice population has a normal distribution with unknown major mu i. One way ANOVA test, the no hypothesis that all the population means are the same. And what does that mean? That means the first five observation of couples for their first marriage, they have a mean mu one. And second five observation, all five couples from second group, they are for what? They are for their second marriages, okay? With a mean mu two. And the third marriage, five couples, with mean equal to mu three, okay? And condition three or assumption three. All the population have the same standard deviation sigma, whose value is unknown. Okay? This assumption is also very important. Although three samples from three population, they have unknown mu one, mu two, mu three. However, we assume the variance for three population are the same. They all equal to sigma squared, or you say standard deviation equal to sigma. They have an unknown common standard deviation. 